I just got back from the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary event in Disneyland Resort, and I have these two huge bags to go over with you guys. What's up, pals? James here, and welcome back to the channel. Like I said earlier, I just got back from the 50th anniversary for Haunted Mansion, the special event that the Disneyland Resort held. Uh, as I showed earlier, I have these two giant bags full of stuff. Don't worry though, most of it actually isn't for me, but I did want to film it uh, for you guys just to show everything up close because a lot of this stuff I will be giving away. I did a lot of park pickups for people, so I just wanted to show this all off on my channel before I wrapped it all up and shipped it to everybody else. Okay, so without further ado, I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> Stitch. And it is a stitch. How awesome is that? And I just like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, so this first little bag from the first giant bag full of stuff is actually full of these boxes of the 50th anniversary mystery pin collection. This is a 10 pin collection. Here's the back of the box real quick. I will show better detail of the pins and the boxes later um, when I do my mystery pin unboxing video coming out very, very soon on the channel. Uh, I did pick up, I believe, four for myself, uh, two for somebody else, and then five for another friend of mine. So uh, you'll be seeing some unboxings from me. I don't really plan on completing this set but I did want to cover it for you guys. And then also on different YouTube channels, I will be sending these boxes too. So, so you'll be seeing those unboxings from them as well. Okay, next up I have these two bags of Disney Parks Wishables. Uh, these are for the 50th anniversary. Um, they're limited release. And these are actually mystery bags for these tiny little plushes right here. They're all from Haunted Mansion. And each bag can, uh, includes one mystery plush. And again, here are the plushes that you can get. You can get Ezra, Phineas, Constance, and the Hatbox Ghost. Uh, I bet you the Hatbox Ghost will be very, very popular. Um, I will not be opening these up on my channel. These aren't for me. This is for a friend of mine. Then also, I am giving my friend this right here. This is another wishable. You didn't have to uh, pull it out of a box or anything to get him, but this is Gus. I believe he's the prisoner. One of the hitchhiking ghosts that's a prisoner. I'll show better close-ups of all this stuff too. have two more mystery pins right here. Um, I'm not going to be opening up these pins as well. This is for somebody else, but I did want to show you the boxes up close. This one is an eight pin collection and this one is a glow in the dark um, open edition set. So they'll be around for a while and they're only $14.99 per box, two per box. So not, not bad. <laughs> Alrighty, this next item is wrapped up because it's kind of fragile. It's even wrapped up in bubble wrap. Um, I bought one for myself, and then I bought another one for my friend. So since I'm going to open up this bubble wrap, I'll only show you one. Then I'll use the other one to ship it. But here we go. This is a Madame Leota ornament. I'll show another close-up right now. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. <laughs> Next up is a mug. Uh, I bought two of these as well. Um, 
I already gave the one that I wanted to give to my mom. To my mom. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and open up this one for you guys. And I'll just rewrap it. This one is also going out to a friend of mine. So we have... This is the back of it, actually. I pulled it out backwards for some reason. <laughs> but here we go. It is a 50th anniversary for Haunted Mansion. And it's got the logo. It's got Disneyland Resort right there. Um, I'll show you another close-up of it right now. Alrighty guys, here we are, bag number two. And this one is quite a bit heavier than the other one. So I got myself the Madame Leota Pop in my RSP, and there's also more Pops coming out in the future. Uh, I believe some of them are going to be exclusive to, to Box Lunch and then Hot Topic, so they're gonna be pretty hard to get. But to be honest, I just wanted the Madame Leota one that was at the event. Uh, she sold out pretty, pretty quick. Um, I believe when I was there, I was trying to buy two extras for some friends, uh, but they had already sold out of her. So thankfully I was smart enough to RSP one for myself. And then of course I will show you the close up right now. Okay, next up is this Mickey Ears hat. Uh, I'm not really huge into Mickey Ear hats, but this one is definitely a must have in my opinion. It's a limited edition 50th anniversary for Haunted Mansion. You got this cool logo right here that's actually metal. Um, this one is also for a friend of mine, but I bought one for Taylor, but she went home, so she took it. So here we go. This is honestly really, really cool. The uh, material feels feels better than like that felt material that they have and then also on the ears I don't know if you can see it there's like the mansion right there then you also have the hat box ghost right here and then of course here is the close-up for you guys Okay, so when you purchase stuff at the event, they gave you a tote bag. So I purchased two bags, so I got two tote bags. And it just has the 50th logo right there. Very cool, it says, celebrating 50 years of retirement unliving, the Haunted Mansion, Disneyland, 1969 to 2019. Very cool. And I got two of them. These next two items, are for Taylor and I. Um, this was a special gift that they gave you for going to the event. Here's the box of it. It's just the 50th anniversary logo. And inside, you get this paper right here. And then you have this Madame Leota paperweight take her out for you on the bottom of it of course you have the 50th logo right there but I'll show you the close-up right now this is super duper cool I love it so much it's so cool that they give us free stuff sometimes <laughs>
And like I said before, I have two of them. So here's the second one. Well, Taylor has one because she went to the event with me, but she forgot hers. <laughs> Alrighty, these next three items were the big ticket item that enticed me to go. Um, it's definitely a pin, of course, pin pals. <laughs> but it's the Super Jumbo pin. This one retailed for $125, and it was limited edition of $500. Um, this is definitely the, the pin that I wanted from the event. Um, and then, of course, there were two other people that wanted it as well, so I did some pickups for them as well. So one of them is for me, and then the other two are for my friends. And then, of course, hang tight for the close-up. have this little bag full of pins and I mean it's it's full of pins it's really heavy a lot of these pins are duplicates because I did a lot of pickups and honestly most of them are not mine um, I'm trying to really calm down on just like buying up pins and uh, even though a lot of these pins are beautiful and I kind of feel dumb for not choosing some of these pins. I'm not really a Haunted Mansion collector, so it wouldn't have really made sense for me to have all these pins floating around in my room. <laughs> After I show off each pin on the camera, I will do the close-ups as well. So if you don't get a detailed shot, I'll make sure you get one. <laughs> so here we go. This first one is Honestly, I think this one sold out before the Jumbo did because you couldn't even buy any extra when you got there. This is the 50th anniversary logo pin. Um, this one is a limited edition of 999. How awesome is that? <laughs> but very, very cool. Hang tight for the close-up, but this one, honestly, I feel stupid. I should, like, the Jumbo pin, of course, like, that's a no-brainer. You gotta get that one, but I definitely should have gotten this one for sure, and... Taylor was upset at me when I told her that this isn't actually ours. <laughs> but awesome. This logo pin is super duper cool. Then I got these three Doom Buggy slider pins. They slide like this, so it's like you're riding the ride. Pretty hefty pin, and uh, it's really, really well detailed. The bricks feel like they're enamel, and they're kind of sparkly in the background, too. Then of course I picked up this hat box ghost pin. It's got like one of those 3D effect things where when you move the pin like this, his face will appear on his person and then of course in the hat box. So that's super cool. This one actually isn't mine either. This one's going to a friend as well.
And then I have the infamous clock right before Madame Leota. This one's a pretty hefty pin. Uh, it's definitely a pin on pin design with some moving features on it. I believe the hands move right here. And then it also moves right there. <laughs> That's so cool. This one's pretty hefty though. It's pretty heavy for such a thin profile pin. But hang tight for the close-up. This one isn't mine either. <laughs> Then I got some limited release pins, one for my cousin and then one for my friend. Uh, this one is the Hitchhiking Ghosts, of course. And then I have these two pins too, these are also limited release they're the same one uh, i'm gonna keep one of them but this is the haunted mansion lenticular pin all righty so that is all that i purchased from the haunted mansion 50th anniversary event in Disneyland Resort. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you don't miss any new content coming your way in the future. Also leave me a comment down below which pin or which item was your favorite. But other than that guys that is all I have for you today. I will be doing the vlog video very very soon so be on the lookout for that, I'll probably honestly expedite it before any of the other vlogs just to get it out there for you guys quicker. But again, that's all I have for you today. Have a magical day, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.